Hi, I want to illustrate some additional very important calculations for water utilities that are easily made with the Pipe 2000. Uh, these deal with hydrant flows and uh, this picture shows a series of hydrants. Uh, most systems will of course have more hydrants than this uh, but this is to illustrate the types of calculations that we can easily make. Uh, first there's the fire flow that's available. Uh, it's a pump fire flow uh, which would be available and maintain a minimum pressure normally 20 psi in the system. Uh, now there is some confusion sometimes about fire flow but uh, this is the best way to illustrate it. The question is how much flow can we take out of the various hydrants at 20 psi. Now in pipe 2000 uh, you can just select uh, with one click an analysis to do a fire flow calculation for every hydrant in your system and when you're done you can display the fire flows. Here are the, the fire flows 850, 1640 and so on. So this is how much flow you can get at this hydrant without lowering the pressure anywhere in the system below 20 psi. Now other than fire flows we're always interested in how much flow we can get when we flush. And when we flush, we either let water out the, uh, the smaller or the larger of the orifices, normally the smaller, and we want to know how much flow we can get. Well, again, in pipe 2000, you can go through and select an analysis that will do how much flow you can get out of each hydrant by opening it up. And that's based on the characteristics of the hydrant and the distribution system. So with one click in a few minutes or a few seconds, we'll have these analyses. And uh, this shows you can get 1,000 gallons per minute out this hydrant, 780. This would allow you to plan flushing. And we have some other tools where you can actually close certain valves and open certain hydrants and determine how much flow you can get out the system and uh, what velocities you can attain. This has all been automated in Pipe 2000. Now another feature in Pipe 2000 is handling multiple pumps at pump stations. Uh, we can very quickly model a pump station, this pump station has about nine pumps in parallel. And uh, uh, we can go in to our uh, screen where we can launch the analysis like this and we can select. At each pump we select for example three parallel pumps. And by doing that we can quickly run an analysis without modifying the model at all showing what would happen if you had three parallel pumps. For example, this system with one pump on, we looked earlier, we had a pressure up here of about 54 psi. We had a little flow going into the tanks. If you put three pumps on, you increase the pressure all over the system and you'll greatly increase the flow rates into the tanks. But the point here is it's very, very simple to run that analysis. All you have to do is drop down the list and select as many pumps as you want. Uh, this is the only software that makes it so easy to do this. Uh, you can create what's called a system curve, which is how much pressure is needed at a pump station to get a range of flow rates. And that's another step where you just tell what node you want, how much flow rate you want, and you'll create this system curve. Now where a system curve intersects a pump curve, this is where that pump will operate. So these are tools that you can give to your consultants or you can use internally to size your pump stations. Uh, we, with these tools, we can plot uh, a system curve and curves for one pump, two parallel pumps, and so on. That sort of thing very, very easily. So the tools available in Pipe 2000 for doing fire flow analysis, for doing pump station analysis, uh, are just very, very advanced and very useful.